this event is, is for individuals who I've met along the way from, from the past two years coming back and forth from New York to Norway in particular. And uh, a lot of, over the years, you know, a lot of individuals here, whether they're entrepreneurs or leaders, have been, in, been, been inspired by my speeches or they've purchased my books or they've just done certain things on social media that allow other individuals to know who I am. So this event is for them. It's for all the individuals in Norway who's been inspiring me by their stories, their messages, their inbox messages, just their smiles and hugs when I come into Norway. So this event is a thank you. A thank you for just being you and allowing me to be me in your country. So this event is all about innovation. And for us, innovation is about finding a solution to a problem in a moment in time. And we believe that Raphael is one of the best people at the moment who can help Norway solve those problems. You, Raph, you're good at bringing people together. People from different walks of life doing different things, from the student to the veteran, everything in between. And hearing about Raphael and his work, and how he helps other people, I've suddenly realized my passion of being so selfish, and that my new mission in life is to get as many people as I can out and share the, the thing that I love the most, which is the ocean. So this is what I'm doing now. I've started SUP Norway. We've made a platform to help uh, entrepreneurs help entrepreneurs. And that's why we, we're so happy to, to blog about uh, Raphael. It's called Shaping the Odds. Every one of us can do so much and we can really do it very well, but the magic happens when we start helping each other. You kind of start to research and, and look at different cultures. You also try to figure out, well, what is it about of, a cult, uh, of the culture that can hinder? It may be great locally or in your country, but if you're going to the next level, some things have to change for you to be able to, to transcend. And that's my word when I do a lot of advising, is how do you transcend all barriers um, when, you have it, when you're leading an organization or a group of people? I really needed to be here. And Raphael, he gave me a cake. I have to make my cake each day, each morning, uh, for my work, uh, to continue uh, building up my company. But to coming here, then I have got a cake for a week. We're starting to get like the sense that, all right, we need to be entrepreneurs. We need to understand how we can make our own art, how we can make something uh, outside of the institutional theaters, how we can make uh, new movies happen, how we can make new TV series happen. And it needs to happen outside of those premises already set. And being here tonight, listening to this guy, and just getting those sparks, getting those ideas, what can I say? It's, it's treasure. The process is more important than the reward. The reward may be coming next year, but who says next year is going to be here for us? So the process, you got to celebrate. Pop a little bottle when you get that first contract. Pop a little bottle when you make a new friend. And from where I come from, the statistic says that I was not supposed to be alive. I'd either be dead or in jail by 25. I beat the statistic because I became an entrepreneur and said that I know that I'm much more than what society intended me to be. And because of that, I'm here inspiring you in a, in a country that I'm not even born in. And again, like my favorite quote that I give everyone is that your location is not your destination. Your location is not your destination. <laughs>